What is going on everyone? Thanks a lot for checking out this video. Today, MacBoy from MacBoy Productions is going to be showing you the top 5 neat little tips and tricks in Final Cut Pro 7. Here we go. The first and most important item on the list is using keyboard shortcuts while editing. This is very, very significant when you're video editing for it's going to improve and increase the speed of your productivity. Now here I have a small clip of two cases side by side each other. And if I want to split that clip into two different clips, I usually have to go to the blade tool, come back, hover my mouse over it, select it, and so on. Of course, you can go many ways in doing this, but here is my way. Instead of dragging your cursor all the way through the toolbar and all the way back, all you gotta do is use keyboard shortcuts. And the keyboard shortcut for the blade tool is the B key. And once you have that, you can see your mouse has turned into a blade, and all you have to do is hover that blade over wherever you want the cut to happen, and click. Once you're done with the edit and you want your old cursor back, you don't have to go all the way to the toolbar again. All you have to do is hit the A key. You're back in business. This will save you an immense amount of time, trust me, and get used to it in Final Cut Pro 7. The next thing that I want to show you is previewing your video in full screen without dragging out your canvas and making that window bigger. That's not going to help you. The more professional and correct way to do this is to going up to view, go down to video playback and select your main monitor you want to play this video on or the monitor that you want to play this video on. If it is connected to your computer, it should come up in the list right there. Select it, go back up to view, go down to external video, and select all frames. Once that is done, your video will pop up to full screen and it will play back in full HD. And if you want to exit this, all you have to do is hit the escape key. Now you're back in Final Cut. The next thing I want to show you is in your browser window and it relates back to the first tip with using keyboard shortcuts. When you're editing, when you're creating big projects, you might have a little more than just 10 items on your list. In fact, you can have hundreds of movie clips within your browser. And sometimes you need a little more information than just MVI underscore 1105.avi. You know what I'm saying? So this is going to help you depict what clips you want to import. Hold down the shift key and hit the H key over and over again. And what this will do is it will cycle through the different viewing options in your browser window. Just like that. It will show you the thumbnails, which is very important when you want to import your footage. Another cool tip is when you actually show the thumbnails in your browser without cycling through it. Now, yeah, you can see the thumbnails of the video clips, but what's even cooler is that you can select that video clip and scrub through it back and forward. If you select the clip and move your mouse left and right, you'll actually scrub through the clip according to your direction. And the last thing that I want to show you today is called Ripple Delete, one of the most important aspects in video editing. Normally, when you want to delete a clip, you have to select it, then hit the delete key, then highlight everything in front of it, and drag it up to the front to match your video. But instead of doing all of that, all you have to do is select it, hold the shift key, and press delete. And this, my friends, is called a ripple delete. What it will do is it will replace the video that you just deleted with all the video clips and content in front of that. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks a lot for watching. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and visit the channel after you're done watching the video. This is MacBoy, and I'll see every single one of you next time right here on MacBoy Productions. Take it easy, you guys.